Sometimes we need something to just jar our system, I guess you could say, to wake us up to what's really going on and to make sure that we're heading in the right direction. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you seven brutally honest pieces of advice for real estate agents post NAR settlement. You know, as I meet with agents on a daily basis, one of the themes that I'm hearing from almost everybody is, I'm just a little burnout. I'm just a little concerned. I'm just really don't feel like I'm fully in the game right now. So what I want to do today is, is I'm going to kind of give you some really kind of maybe a little bit of tough advice or a little bit of leaning into you a little bit to just give you brutally honest advice on what I'm seeing out there and the things that I know people should be saying to me. And hopefully by me saying it to you, it kind of jars that system we were talking about and gets you back in the game. The first one is this, get in the game or get out of the way. Look, there is a lot of things that are going on in the business right now where we have a lot of people that are just saying things like, I just am going to kind of wait until the dust settles. Let me say this, while you're waiting, somebody else is gaining market share. Somebody else is building momentum and you will not have the ability to catch them when you find finally decide to get back in the game. The time to get back in the game is right now. The time to start making adjustments, to get your motivation back, whatever it takes for you to do that, whether that's going off to a conference, whether that's getting a new coach that's going to give you a fresh perspective, whatever it is, jar your system and understand that it's time for you to get back in the game. And listen, if you're at a place where you just don't know if you want to or not, then get out of the game. Nobody says that you have to stay in real estate, but you have to understand that this is a this is a business that is not going to allow you to be partially in and partially out. In order to, for you to serve your clients to the highest level possible, you're going to have to be all in. So get back in the game. Get your motivation back. The industry and your clients need you to be everything that you were built to be. That rolls us right into point number two, which is that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. You see, you can be as talented as you want. You could have 30 years experience, but a lot of times what we'll see is, is what I've called ignorance on fire will outperform when you've got talent on ice. So what is it that you're doing, whether you're a seasoned veteran that has the experience or whether you're a new agent where you're out there actually working hard and you're outworking everybody else? In times when everybody else pauses, we just talked about that. There are a lot of people that are just kind of pausing right now. They're not sure what to do, so they're not doing anything. The people that lean in right now actually have less competition from those typical professionals than they would have had any other time. When there's a time of disruption, there's a time of confusion, when you can bring clarity and you can bring focus and you can bring consistency to the work that you're doing, you'll absolutely gain market share. So whether you're the person that has all the talent in the world or whether you're the person that maybe lacks a little bit of talent but you're willing to work hard, this is the business for those that work hard. What's working right now? Work is working right now. Number three is, is whatever success you've had in the past, what got you here is not going to get you there. The game has changed. Things have changed. What is it that you're doing differently so that you get different results? Are you leaning in and doing more video content? Are you leaning in and beginning to expand or have your first geographical farm? Are you understanding how to present your buyer representation, presentation in a way that shows the value that you bring to this so that there's no doubt that they're going to choose to use you when they get ready to buy their house? What is it that you're doing differently? What is it that you're saying, you know what? I understand that I've got to grow myself in order to grow my business. And so how are you investing in yourself in a way that's making you better, that's making you a better servant to your clients, and is giving you more knowledge and information so that you can absolutely be the best agent possible for your clients? You see, when you focus in on those things, everything else is going to take care of itself. Number four is, is the market can make you look better than you are, and it can also make you look worse than you are. Now, think about it this way. What happens is, is when we have a market that we've come out of like the pandemic where we had moving up prices, moving up transactions, it made you look a lot smarter than you were. And what can happen, it's just natural, is that you can begin to let your ego come in and you think that you're actually smarter than you are. Now, here's what happens when the market turns and it changes like it has on us. What can happen now is, is that the market can make you look worse than you actually are. Because now those same sellers are expecting you to get 10 offers in the first few hours. And now because it's only been on the market for 30 days, they think that you're the worst agent ever because you haven't brought them that overpriced offer that they were receiving a couple years ago. So what is it that you can do to make sure that you limit the amount of way that the market makes you look and that you stay focused on servicing the clients? Here's the thing that we can do is... First off is continuously learning. What is it that is the area in your business that you know you need to get better at? Is it now negotiating because maybe you haven't negotiated in a while? Is it now learning how to market listings in a way that attracts attention to those listings 
that you used to not have to do that for? What is it that you need to do, the skill you need to develop, communication, whatever it is that you need to develop, humble yourself and understand that, that you can only control the things that you can control. You can't control the market and the market may look you, make you look better than you are. It also may look, make you look worse than you are. Remove yourself from those things. Improve yourself and you'll absolutely see an opportunity to see your business grow and to see yourself grow at the same time. Number five is, is the problem might just be you. It might actually be you that is the problem. Come from a place, we were just talking about humbleness just before, come from a place of understanding that really, ultimately, everything that is struggling in your life is because of things that you either did or didn't do. So what can we do to replace this? Now what we can do is take ownership. Don't put it off on anybody else. Don't give them the power that they maybe could affect your business or that they could affect your life. Take control, take responsibility. I promise you, everything that you want and the momentum that maybe you're missing right now is on the other side of your hard work, taking responsibility, developing those skills that you've been a little bit lazy maybe in developing and making the calls and su supporting your clients in a higher level than you ever have. That'll take care of everything else. Problems go away. Here's the thing I've always told people is, you want to know how you get over a closing falling out? Basically having five other closings because it doesn't hurt as much because you didn't have to have that one to get done. Ultimately, when you come from a place where you're taking complete responsibility, you're not blaming anyone else, you're going to become from a place where you're going to have freedom in the fact that you're in control of your life, you're in control of the results, and you're going to take more and better action in serving your clients at a higher level. Next up is that everybody around you needs you to step up right now. Your clients need you to be a better agent because the market's a little more challenging. And so getting them from a place of finding the perfect home or getting their home sold is going to take a little more effort on your part. It's going to be a little more challenging, so they need you to be more professional. Your family needs you to stand up. Your coworkers need you to stand up and be the person you are. They need to be around someone who is positive, who is growing, because by you doing that, it's going to create an environment where they're going to be inspired to grow as well. Your family needs you to stand up because you're the person that they're looking towards to that they need that positive energy that you can bring to those relationships in a way because you have a business moving forward. This doesn't mean that there aren't going to be challenges. What this ultimately means is, is that your mindset will control what you see and it's going to control what happens in your life when you take full responsibility and you understand that those around you need you now more than ever to step up and be the positive influence that you can be in every one of their lives. Right along those lines, last but not least, it's not even about you. You see, ultimately, this business is not about us. It's about the clients. It's about their needs and us servicing those needs. When we can get ourselves out of the way, we can take our ego out of the way, we can take our pride out of the way and understand exactly what it is that they need and what we can do to make their life easier, I promise your life will get easier as well. Focus in on those clients. Focus in on their needs and everything else is going to move in the right direction. I hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.